When I go into an organization to speak, they often ask me to speak about my history at Second City. I started there in my 20s. And I'd like to tell you, though most people think of it as a comedy theater, it is really considered in our business an improvisational business. It is a business that makes its money from improvisation. Now, if you go to see Phantom of the Opera or Jersey Boys or Mamma Mia, it's a structured play. It has a script and set and design, costumes, lighting cues, sound cues, all to create the same effect every night. So you can go to, you know, Phantom of the Opera in 1994 and then go to it in 2012 and you're going to get the same show essentially, kind of like McDonald's of musicals. And although it is very challenging to be in these shows because you're having to keep the words and sounds and song fresh by bringing new energy to it, you also are required to keep the script the same with the same integrity that the director and the writer envisioned it to be. Second City would put up a show, and it did have a bit of a structure, but it had come from improvisation. And we did not have costumes to speak of, a set, very minimal lights and sound, and it was also really using the energy in the room to add or subtract from the script. And this was a very dynamic kind of work. You had a very great success when it was great and a very big failure when it wasn't. In fact, you could feel crazy after it over thinking that you did something horribly wrong, especially when the audience didn't respond. What I find fascinating though right now in the world, whether you're working in a government agency or what would be considered a fairly stable business, which I'd like to know where they are, wouldn't you? You are being asked to improvise and change your business construct. So even though you may be a little like Phantom of the Opera or Mamma Mia, in some regard, because you have a script or rules you have to follow, in order to get those rules out there and implemented for your customers, you have to be able to improvise and listen. And what is happening is these changes are happening a lot like a performance of improvisation. Used to be you did your job, you put the product out there, you had clients, you didn't have clients, but it was a very structured business that you could rely on. There are very few of these out there anymore. Even in government agencies, actually in especially in government agencies or nonprofits, because people are having to improvise and change and partner in a very improvisational way. And the people that aren't adaptable are going to be left behind because this is taking a whole new level of creative thought in order to stay viable. One of the main things people think about improvisation is, oh, you have to be creative. And I always like to tell people, you already are creative because creativity is part of being human. And unless you're a werewolf, you're creative. Just think about how creative you are with your worrying. I'm sure some of you stay up at four in the morning with a press release that you wouldn't show anybody because it's so bad what you're worrying about. And 90% of this hasn't happened. And the other 10, well, it did happen and you're actually okay. So this time requires more than ever a way to listen to what's going on in a grounded, centered way. Improvisational businesses have this ability to have the unscripted conversation with their customer, what's out there in the marketplace. And they are amazing and making amazing breakthroughs. However, you're going to be on unsteady ground a lot of the time, and it can feel like a blind person in a room with a white cane some days. But this is what's required. In the workshops that I do, which I love, is when you can light that switch for people and say, hey, I can give you some rules for this great I don't know that we're all living in. Rules that can help you and guide you to the next phase of your business. So we will talk later. Hope you have a great day. And remember, it's after we say yes that things get interesting.